Fonda, what attracted you to the, to the role of head coach? Uh, it's been something I've been looking forward to for a while. I've been in the assistant's role for a, a long period of time and I think after a while you create your own vision and the opportunity ro uh, rose to come to the Thunder and uh, mate, the opportunity was too good to throw my name in and I'm just delighted that I've got the gig. Most recently the assistant coach at the Brisbane Heat. How have you enjoyed your time in the Big Bash? Uh, it's been brilliant. I mean, Br Brisbane were a great team to work for. Um, really enjo enjoyed my time there and, and this will present a different challenge for me. So I know the Thunder Nation are really passionate about their team so to come down here and get involved with the community and the guys ground level is going to be brilliant. Senior coach with the Mumbai Indians and New Zealand and the England national teams. How will you take that step into the head coach role? Uh, look, I know I'm really clear about um, the vision for the team and how I'd love to see the team operate. We've got a great team of support staff and uh, crew around me as well, so that's going to make things easier. And obviously we've got a very talented uh, playing group as well. So it's just a case of getting over here, getting stuck in, and, uh, and I'm sure the season will progress well. What are some of your coaching philosophies you'd, you'd like to spread to the club? Performance. It's about performance, you know. It's about turning up every day, really clear about what you want to do, uh, working really specifically, and enjoying your cricket as well. So if, if we get better as players, get better as coaches on a day-to-day -day basis, then we're going to be a bit better cricket team and we're going to win games. And if we do that, then uh, we'll go a long way to winning tournaments. Spotless Stadium is a, is a great place to, to watch cricket. What have you heard, heard from the venue? Have you been there before? Yeah, I've been there. <laughs> yeah, it's great. And I, that's the thing that I'm most excited about is the the community and the size of the fan base behind this team. Um, getting involved with that, seeing the, the passionate support, and I've seen it before at the stadium. Um, and if we can have a, a successful campaign, then that, that fan base and that support's gonna grow throughout the, the coming years, and I'm really excited being a part of that. Quite a lot of our players are, are off contracts, including Captain Shane Watson, someone I'm sure you'd like to, to keep uh, around the club. 100%, I mean, we've got um, some very good players on on our list, but it's always part of the challenge of the head coaching role is building a team that can challenge for the for the tournament. And there's some good players that are available. The the, the, the challenge for me is to get out there and get stuck and get build a team that we think can be successful not only next season but into the future as well. New Zealand based, but how, how will you spend the, the off season uh, leading into the, to the tournament? I'm expecting to spend a bit of time over here. It's only a three hour flight. Uh, so yeah, I'm expecting in the lead up, um, I know the support staff here are reasonably well, so I'll spend a, a good period of time getting involved with the system here at New South Wales as well, um, and making sure that I'm, the players are seeing me and uh, talking to me at a ground level consistently. I think that's a really important part of the role, is getting here and getting the players to, to understand what you're about and trusting you, and then that goes a long way to building a good team culture. Shane, welcome to the City Thanks, delighted to be here.